Hi, y'all. After spending so many years interviewing and directing people, putting them in front of the camera while I got to hide behind the camera, I thought, you know, it's high time I put myself in the hot seat in front of the camera and shared some stuff with y'all. Well, why and why now? I'll tell you a little bit about it on the other side. So why now? Why after all these years am I deciding that this is the point in time for me to get in front of the camera? Let's talk about that. As I record this video, we're nearing the end of calendar year 2021 very quickly. I just turned 54 years old yesterday. So I've kind of got this perspective on time that, you know, I'm not getting any younger. There are a lot of personal projects that I've thought about doing, talked about doing, even approached people about doing um, over the years that I just have not been able to do, either because of my workload or lack of inclination at the time. But I'm thinking if I don't make some goals now to do these things, they're probably never going to happen. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm a video producer, have been a video producer for, for decades uh, since I graduated from college and have worked in the video production field ever since. Um, one of the skills that I've kind of prided myself on and gotten good at, if, if nothing else, just by, by practice, is testimonials, interviewing people on camera. My goal is always to help them feel comfortable, asking good questions, getting to the heart of a, a story, to then be able to come away with usable material for a video. And I love it, talking to people on camera. I love that. I'm always behind the camera. <clears throat> I'm almost never on camera for the interview, um, but they are. And since the, the 80s, you know, I've interviewed well over 1,500 people. I mean, I've lost count, but well over 1,500 people. So I've talked to a lot of people on camera. I've had some shoots recently where I thought, you know, I probably could have had a little better hand in that particular interview or that particular situation if I had been in this spot myself and could relay, you know, some things that help them feel even more comfortable or get through that particular shoot a little bit better. So that's one of the reasons is putting myself here to get better at talking to the camera and to put myself in the mindset of uh, the people that I put in front of the camera in times for, for different professional projects. The other reason is these personal projects I mentioned, things that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And a lot of different projects on my mind that I thought well, it'd be fun to do this. There's some projects kind of related to my professional world, but that I'd like to do more on a personal level. As I said, I've interviewed a lot of people over the years, but it's usually always a little more formal environment for a particular, you know, formal video project. What I'd love to do with some of these people, because I know they have interest and passion beyond what they're often approached for, for a particular video. And I'd love to talk with them more about some of the things in a more laid back environment about some of the stuff that I know that they're good at and can comment on in a way in a much more relaxed manner. So I thought about doing a, a either a podcast series, you know, audio only, or if I could pull the resources and time together, uh, a kind of little video series about creativity and faith or something related to that. Um, where I would sit down, I'd actually be on camera or on mic, of course, uh, with an individual for an episode at a time, and we'd talk about a particular topic. Uh, since I'm a creative guy, I like writing, I like film, I like music, we might talk about that topic. Or something else, uh, history is big with me, um, faith related topics very big with me. So conversations with some people that I know, they're not necessarily famous people, but people that have some interesting things to say. I would love to get that series off the ground in 2022. Had a lot of different projects on my mind that I thought well, it'd be fun to do this. Uh, some of them as simple as kind of just what I'm doing here. We're just talking to the camera, sharing with you about different things of interest to me, different topics, you know, kind of a vlog basically. Uh, a way to not just hear me talk, but to share some things and then hopefully hear back from you all, or, you know, get some reflections. I'm really doing this to be able to hear you all, your responses, your opinions, your views on different topics or things that I'm talking about. 
things of interest to me that maybe are of interest to you. So I'd love to hear that and kind of continue a back and forth conversation. For example, <clears throat> one that comes to mind right now is uh, I love Christian heavy metal and hard rock. A lot of people don't know that about me, uh, and a lot of people don't have that interest or really don't have any clue as to what the bands are, what the music's like. You know, they've heard all Christian music is bad, and, uh, you know, it just doesn't live up to par of, of secular music. It really is a lot of that's just, just not true that, that there's some great stuff out there. So for example, uh, I might do a video on this where I talk about um, that many of y'all may have had a band like Def Leppard and Pyromania as a quintessential band and album for you growing up in high school. And they defined that era for you. I certainly listened to them, was very familiar with them, but for me, a band like Resurrection Band and this album Colors was the same kind of equivalent quintessential album. Uh, phenomenally great hard rock album. The value of that album and the music they produced, you know, I'd like to share with things about that. Those are some things that interest me. That'd be fun to talk a little bit about. You know, other topics that I'd love to share about, maybe in just kind of a vlogging or personal kind of sharing type format, is, is a lot of faith-related things. This year, I made a challenge, uh, actually starting last Christmas, made a challenge to my two sons by giving them, or all three of us, a devotional booklet that we went through all of this year. And the goal was to try and get them to start their devotional life. We started a group chat, a text chat, where once a month we shared about which devotion from the last month touched us the most and why. And so we had to connect, you know, at least 12 times throughout the year sharing about that. And uh, it was a way to kind of get them in the habit of developing their devotional life. So we've been doing that all this year. And I'd love to talk a little bit about the end results of that and, um, and why that's been so special and unique and how it's helped uh, each of us to grow in different ways. So that's something that I think would be fun to tackle a video about too. Maybe that's something you'd want to attempt with your, your kids as well. Some things like that I think would be fun to share about and talk about. And I've got a lot of other ideas too, but this just kind of scratches the surface a little bit. But some things that would be, be fun to, uh, to talk about, share about, and uh, hopefully you know, we can have conversations about here via social media. Please feel free to let me know if any of these things sound of interest to you, whether you would watch or listen, uh, whether you, know, you think these would be some ideas worth uh, investing your time in. Um, if so, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, even if you just want to be a cheerleader for me, let, let me know. It might give me a little added motivation to, to move forward. Uh, but I'd like to do, do some of these things uh, here over the holidays and then into 2022 and just see, see where they go. So if you're interested, let me know. Uh, and thank you so much for taking time to watch this one. A few months I'll look back at this and go, man, that first one was rough. That was rough. But uh, hey, we all got to start somewhere. So take care and look forward to seeing you in the next video.